Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're doing part one of the build of the LEGO Creator Ferris Wheel. This is a branded expert set. Um, I don't think the techniques are really that hard in the set, it's just a very, very large set. So they, I guess, brand anything that's huge like this, an expert creator set. So similar ones are like the modular buildings or some of the UCS Star Wars stuff. Anyway, 2,464 pieces, so that's a lot of elements. Um, we do have quite a few minifigures, a lot of little sub-builds and stuff. You can see on the back it shows you some pictures, more detailed stuff. It does show you that if you add the, the power function motor plus a battery box, you can make this spin on its own. If you don't have that, there's a little crank that you can spin it, so you don't have to have the motor. I'm gonna build it without the motor, but I will eventually motorize it and uh, use it in my Lego city. So let me move this down a bit so we can go ahead and dump the contents out right there. All right, so we have a unnumbered bag that has large elements along with some big plates. They're not base plates, they're actual plates. And here we have the instruction book. Now it's not cardboard backed. It's just the instruction book in a bag. And it's one, it's fairly thin, considering the size of the set. And then next we have numbered bags. Looks like bags one, two, three, four. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do before we start building is sort the bags, open up all the bag ones, because you can see there's, there's multiple of the numbers. Um, similar to the way they do the modular buildings, they give you a lot of the bags and you're supposed to open them all up and sort the pieces. That way you can build it a little bit easier. So what I'm going to do is do that. I'm going to sort them all out before we start building. So um, it usually takes about 15 minutes. You won't have to see any of that because we'll just fast forward through that and um, we'll start the build. All right, so we have everything sorted now. I basically have Technic bricks. So it's a brick with little Technic holes. Kind of all over here. We've got big bricks. We've got plates all the way across back here. We've got some Technic pieces here and then all the small stuff is off to the side. So you can um, really do it however you want. It's more or less the way that you'll be able to find it. There's really no right way. Although I will recommend don't just dump all the parts out into one big pile because it will make it a lot more difficult to try to build. I mean, if you if you want a challenge, that's um, something you could do. Oh, before we get too far in the build, we do have the minifigures. Almost forgot about those. So we have three minifigures in bag number one. And unlike the Lego modular buildings, these minifigures actually have slightly different printed faces. The modular buildings, they all come with the old standard, just two dots and an arch for a smile. Whereas this one, each of these figures actually has a slightly different face. So we have a female figure, we have a male figure, and then we have a younger female. And the, the younger ones are usually represented with the, the shorter legs. 
So these are the short legs that actually don't bend. And you can see how she's shorter. So this could be a little family. I have mom, dad, and a daughter. See how she's smaller than, slightly smaller, slightly shorter, I guess. I'll put those minifigures off to the side. So, starting with some Technic connectors. And then we have more these uh, big Technic frames. And these are going to have Technic pins on three sides. And they're the black friction pin variety. see how large this footprint is going to be. I may actually end up having to pull the camera back just a bit to get the whole thing in the shot. But I'm going to try to build, because I know it's going to be a large set overall, I'm going to try to build the detail that I'm building in the current step zoomed in and not to zoom out all the way for each step. So like this, I'll just pull, pull everything over, attach that, and then at the very end, see we have another attachment. So that's kind of how I'm going to try to to do this. We're going to turn this over. We have some plates by Attaching these plates, it helps hold the Technic frame together real well. These two right here, right here, the green one right in the middle, and two of these lighter green. I don't know if you can tell or not. These are slightly lighter green than that one in the middle. All right. So that's the, basically kind of the foundation. So we're gonna put this to the side because there's a, a sub build that we're gonna do. So we're gonna build two of the same elements so of course I'm going to do them at the same time. Start with some Technic friction pins. These yellow Technic bricks over here. Attach those two. Repeat that for this one. One, two, one, two. Two, three, four. We have six of these three long friction pins. So three on each side. And then a couple of these Technic pieces. Repeat that for this one. Pretty good sized pile of Technic pin and other small Technic pieces that I have right off to the left. Once we build the main frame, I bet we won't use as many because there's a huge amount of just standard Lego elements 
they def the regular Lego elements definitely outnumber the the Technic pieces, especially now that we're using the bulk of them kind of right here at the beginning. There's not going to be too many left, I bet. All right, so those three blue ends that are sticking out. Attach these, and that uses all of the long Technic bricks. So right now we're already using up quite a bit of them. So on the other side, we're going to repeat almost identical to what we just did, where we have the three Three long pins with the one black friction pin. Put a couple of these pieces and then a one by four Technic brick at the end. There's the two elements that we had to build with the sub build. So we will then bring our frame over and each one of these will connect on the end. Right there and right there. So we've now made this even larger. All right, so now we're gonna use some base plates or some plates, actually not base plates, that will make it even larger. So we're gonna start over here. We have four studs exposed. Let's center this on there. All right, so that one it goes there. Turn this around. by 16s just gonna slowly rotate this around and get them all attached some room because I'm quickly running out of room. All right, so what I did is I moved the box out of the way and I was able to get this whole thing on the table now. So now we can 
go ahead and start really getting into this. And just like the modular buildings that I've built in the past, they give you a little part call out. So what I'm going to do is actually pull the parts for each one of those part call outs to make sure that I don't miss anything. right it looks like it's off on the instructions but it's because there's a gap right there it doesn't quite look right okay. that's good pull the parts for the next step those are two four six nine. okay one blue tile two of the Three, two of the brown slopes. Two red jumpers. And one red tile with a axle. I mean a Technic pen sticking up. tiles in this set. When you see one, it's kind of looks out of place. four plates by eight, four corner plates. All right, to the two by fours with the corners. So the one by eights and then six or four of the one by sixes. Here. 
four plates so these slopes are all go down this one side here we start with this one the longer and go with the shorter. to the other side. Start with the um, plates. We'll do one slope. Two of the bigger ones. Five of the forty five degree. And then this is where it gets a little bit different. We have a brown brick and we have a jumper plate, jumper plate. Forty five and then a tile up there. Four plates, and then I need all eight, two, four, six, eight of these four by eight plates. So these are going to go down here. And over here, the green bow shapes. Six, seven, eight. Eight two by three green plates. All right. So this one green stud goes all the way over there. We'll go ahead and start 
putting these plates all the way around. I'm trying to carefully make sure I get them in the right spot. So on the end here we get these four of the baby bow shapes. This piece goes there. Oops, not there. Get the brick separator. It actually goes over one because our one by four plate goes right here. Two by three, two by three. So we're kind of hiding all of these Technic beams with all of these green elements. It's also helping hold everything down in place. And we've got the four. Just like on the other end, we have these four baby bow shapes that'll go here. Gonna give it a nice rounded off appearance. One, two, four, eight more. Two slopes. Two of these. These seven, three, four, five, six, seven. Those elements. So, just like the other side that we just did, we're kind of going to repeat this process over here where we have our bow shapes on the ends. by threes one by four with plate this one down here is slightly different because remember we have cut out there. It's probably where the crank is going to go. Well, got some slopes here. Covering that up. And one more 2 by 3 Alright. So moving on. Four slopes. Four brown slopes. Eight of these Technic axles with a stud at the end. There's eight of those. Four one by fours and two two by twos. All right. So we need to carefully pay attention. To the instructions, but it looks like we're going to put a slope in between these little Technic pieces that are sticking up, and then we're going to insert one of these axles. We're not going to put it all the way through, we're going to leave it hanging out. That way, whenever we attach the, the next element that needs to be locked in, all we do is push those pins in. Repeat the same thing over here so that will use up all eight of these axles. A couple more slopes in between there, and then down here is where we use these bricks.
plates are all going to go there. little Technic assembly. I'm going to zoom in a bit so you can see what I'm doing. So we have an axle with a axle joiner. We're going to slide this through this Technic brick. And then a little spacer. Three long Technic beam and then this black gear it's a bevel gear at the bottom we have a three long non-friction pin and then these little spacer elements another three long Axle or um, oops, actually, need to put one of these in there first and then lock it in with this three long Technic beam. We have a extender. Here and then one more Technic brick there. This whole piece um, carefully goes right there. limited range of motion, but it does move. Now we have another little Technic assembly to make. Pieces, and then on the bottom side, we put a few more Technic pin with axles. And if you see a tan color, that means they're non friction. That means whatever they're attached to, they will rotate smoothly. So you can see, I'm just kind of gravity's moving this thing. This whole piece attaches to that side, the middle attaches to that pin there, and then this it goes all over there. So it creates a nice little squeezing assembly. Alright, let's pull the pieces for the next step. Five. One brick, two of these bricks, a couple bricks, Seven, 17 of the masonry profile bricks. That's 
five, six, seven, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. One brick with a bar on it, and four of these Technic pieces. All right. So, each one of these Technic elements attaches to these Technic bricks that are exposed on the side. start putting up this little railing with the masonry profile bricks around it. These need to be shifted over one stud. Oops. This one is the black brick with a bar. Here, for some reason, they show the railing facing the opposite way as the other ones were. We'll just go with it and see what happens. Actually, it needs to be all the way up here. thing is so large that you have to pay attention to where each one of these bricks is supposed to go. Alright, I think I got it now. The last one goes there. So we're going to end this part right now. We've made some progress. Um, you can see we've got a lot of cool foundation stuff done. We've got this little pincher thing, whatever that's going to do. So um, make sure to check out the next part. Uh, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any other parts. And we'll see you next time.